Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing water droplet photography but with a dreamy looking feeling to it. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello my friends, welcome back. I'm Leo. Thank you all ever so much for subscribing to my channel. It really, really means a lot to me. And I'm I'm marvelling moon that I've inspired so many people. That that's what makes me happy. And all the lovely comments. So today we're gonna to be doing a bit of dreamy macro photography, like I said. The story to be on this video is my wife's had me recently decorating the house. Then she had me decorating the bedroom. And then she says, Lee, I want some pictures from walls. I said, that's fine. I said, go look at my computer. There's and she'd pick what you want off, send them to the printers. Don't you got what you want? No, I don't want them in pictures. I want a nice dreamy picture. I said, dreamy picture? What's a dreamy picture? So she went on Google and went, look, this, look at this. This is a soothing, relaxing. This is something that is softening. I said, okay, then I'm right, I can have a go with that, that's not a problem. So for today, what I'll do is I'll do a video on this sort of type thing. What I've got today is some nice flowers, which everybody loves a flower, and then, like I say, it's Easter, so we've got it. So we've got some different coloured flowers, like I say, I've got some cherry blossom here, which is really nice for this time of year, and I'll do like the little probes on the end. And my all-time favourite, as you all know, dandelion clocks. So what goes better with water droplets with them dandelion clocks? Nice flowers as a background. So I think this could work. So stay tuned while I get set up and get ready to have fun. The first thing we really need to do is make our setup uh, picture. So. First thing I've done is got this memo clip holder, put some blue tack on it and place my dandelion seed on the top. The next thing I've done is got one of my flowers, put in this Rollison third hand tool. I got this off Amazon. And what I want to do is I want to use this to complement the water droplet. Now if I was going to do a refraction, I'd have it flat. But I don't want to do a refraction. I want this blurry. So what I'm going to do is I'm turning it this way because I do not want a reflection in it. But what I want, where I'm hoping to get, is I want the petals to wrap around the water droplets. I don't know, it might work, it might not, I don't know. But then I shall use that as a lead. So what I'm going to do is I'll put there and I'm going to try and get it in between the petals. Now you might have to pull a couple of petals off, but you never know. So I'm quite happy with that. As you can, you probably won't see, but that's all now wrapped up. My clock is wrapped up in the flowers, which I really am happy with that. So that when I put my water drop on, and I focus in on that, I shouldn't see no background. All I'm going to see is a white background. Yeah, because it'll be leading up onto this, so I'm hoping and that will be nice. Now I'm going to put the water drop on just before I start taking the pictures because I don't want to evaporate for the heat. So I'm just going to set my camera up now. I've got my set up already now. My little drop's on there, I've dropped it on with this syringe. I've got my background already nice. I've got my Canon 100mm lens with a 36mm extension tube, my flash, my 750D on a tripod and I'm ready now to take the shots. The only thing I will be doing different is I've got all the balance right now. So the next step is if I want to add colour, this is I'm going to add my cards like this where I'm taking the shot. Now I'm not going to just put them there. They will be literally moving as I'm taking the shot. This is how the flash can reflect and bend some of the colours of the card back on slightly. Because I don't want it plain white because my wife's bedroom is a purpley pink so she wants a purpley pink picture. But as I say, 
You haven't got to use dandelion clock, you can use what you want, but I'll show you now the back of the screen. Hopefully you're going to see the pictures. You might not because I'm going to be a bit bright, but I will put some pictures up later anyway. Okay, on. okay, onto the back of the screen now. You can see my settings where I've got here. So now I'm going to take a quick test shot just to see before I start adding any backgrounds or see if it, if I want to change anything. As you can see, that ain't too bad, but it looks a bit dark. I want it more dreamy, so I might add to add a bit more power to the flash. Or even slow the shut down. As you can see, you can see the bottom bottoms of the petals in the picture, which I'm happy with, which I want, because I want a dreamy looking effect. What I've actually done is I've not focused right in on my water drop, so it won't show now. Well, shouldn't show no reflections. And I've just added a bit of background now, just to see what's happening. Like says, she wants pink. Oh, I quite like them. Well, I think I need to go a little bit lighter to be fair. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop. I'm just going to add a bit more power to the flash. This doesn't work. I can always add. I could always, like say, lower my shutter speed or lower my f-stop. My shutter speed is at the minute, uh, the minute is on 1.32 for the uh, one thirty-two with the power. There we go, we've got some noise. That's a lot better. Like you say, she wants pink, she will have pink. Oh, I love that one. But as you can see, they're starting to come out. Now that was with the pink one. Now I like that one better. That's, with it. That's just the reflections gathering off it. Too much highlights. That's a bit better. Bit more, maybe. Now you can do this with any sort of picture. You can do it with a. Um, a smaller flower in front of it. You ain't got to use a dandelion clock. But like I say, my favourite thing is dandelion clocks. So that's what she's getting. <laughs> Yellow again. Oh, I like that one. That's really nice. I know she, she wants to ping, but I like it, so I don't care. Right. Let's get these done and put them on the computer so I can have a look at them and I'll put some pictures up for you now. I hope you've enjoyed those pictures. Today was more about creating something, creating something I can put on my wall, like I says. My wife asked me to do it, so I can't say no. And it's nice because it is a memorable moment. I, I can see my picture when I wake up every day on that wall. So I'm quite happy. I mean, like I said, I've used a flower. You can use anything you want. I mean, I use, you know, I've used, I pulled a petal off a flower and I've turned it round, put a water drop on it, on this clip, and I've got the same picture, which I'll put, which you've probably seen on the pictures. Now, I am going to give you one tip for those people who've stuck around a bit uh, longer than the rest. If you thought I was using this all the time, think again. These things you get in the shower, you know, the women have. I actually used one of these. And what I did was put that there. And that gave me some lovely textures, like I say. Because my f-stop was so low and shallow depth of field, you couldn't see this, but you could see all the textures of it. And this is what makes the difference. This is the stuff around your house. Now, we have got another use for this, but this will be another later video. Because it, it, it's good. Trust me, oh. I went in the shower the other day and I was there and I was thinking, oh yeah, washing my hair, as we got some. 
and the bubbles that this occurred, what occurred on here was absolutely amazing. So I thought, oh, that looks nice, that looks a bit abstract -y. so that's another one for another day. So like I say, don't think that you've always got to use a flower or you've got to use a dandelion clock, use something totally different. But like I say, these pictures sell, believe it or not. They absolutely sell on the markets. And I ain't one for selling pictures. I, I have got a buyer who buys some of my pictures, I must, I must admit. But I ain't one to sell, I'm one to share, I'm more sharing. This week I've had a bad run with my anxiety and depression, trust me. It's killed me to do this video today. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie, so if you thought, oh, that's a bit, you didn't seem to care. It's because I'm at, at the bottom of it. But I know your comments and everything else really help me out. And, <laughs> yeah, but that's part of anxiety and depression this time. But like I said, get rid of that one. <laughs> Gone. Like I said, this makes absolutely fantastic backgrounds. You get white ones, pink ones, blue ones. So you haven't got to use those cards. So that's one to keep in mind. Like I said, you flash. And then you flash. You got your flash coming out. Don't be afraid, yeah, to turn your flash away from it. Yeah, this casts different light. It makes brilliant effects. And a lot of people down this, they just think we've got to have it there, it's got to be on that, it's got to be doing this, it hasn't. You move it slightly to one side or slightly to another side. It casts better shadows, trust me. Simple, 750D. Power to the cannon. So, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do apologise for the low self-esteem this week. But I will be back Wednesday, trust me. I've got some brilliant ideas. My head's just buzzing of ideas. I'm absolutely buzzing. I've made... Uh, I've made... Should I tell you? No, I won't. Right, like I say, if you enjoyed my videos, thank you, thank you, please subscribe, please hit that like button. Keep safe, please. Share with your friends, yeah? And until next time, happy snapping and stay safe, my friends.